tremendous success this year. I, I think it's the biggest crowd we've seen at the ISTA Open Day in many, many years. I know the last two years we've been hampered by COVID, I suppose, but I've been coming to this Open Day event over 20 years, and I must say this is probably one of the biggest crowds we've ever seen. So we're up against a lot of constraints under the farm to fork rules. There's a lot of you know challenges coming at us with reduced pesticide use, reduced fertilizer use. We've got climate change in the background. Lots of things happening that way. So I think, you know, varieties and plant breeding and natural resistance to all these challenges is going to be more important going forward and it's nice to see such a great selection of varieties and crops on show here in Back Western today. For us as breeders agents we get packets of seed from breeders right across Europe and uh, we would screen those in our trials, uh, other agents do likewise uh, and then the best of that would be then put forward for official trials by the department which is what we're seeing here today. And that's a three-year process to get from what we would say is an initial variety for entry into trial to eventually going on to a recommended list if it's successful. And if you look at the department trials that we have, I think there's eight different crops. There's something like uh, uh, 27 different farms and there's three different location centres. So, you know, there's almost 30 different farms or stroke locations around the country testing eight different crops of cereal, oilseed and beans. So a very you know, robust uh, system of trialling and we're very lucky that we have that as an independent source in Ireland as well of course because everything is sampled and tested independently and the results that are verified from that are 100% genuine. The Irish market is relatively small but it's also relatively important to breeders because we use a very high proportion of certified seed in Ireland and that generates a, a good return for breeders on their investment in putting material into trial here. I suppose it's a two-way street. You know, they, they put material in, they get a return on investment, they put more material back in after, afterwards. For us, it's all about certified seed and producing quality certified seed. And the Irish certification system is one of the most robust in Europe. We're one of the only four countries that have a zero tolerance to wild oats in the field. We've also recently adopted a voluntary standard of zero tolerance to blackgrass and to brome and other species like that. And then we're trying to, I suppose, promote tillage and promote progression in tillage, shall we call it. You know, higher yields, better varieties, which will hopefully in turn produce better grower returns. We're actively involved in a number of different committees, like the Tillage Stakeholders Committee, or members of Tillage Industry Ireland. And you know, we're, I suppose we're constantly putting out a message around uh, the advancement and promotion of, of tillage farming and crop right improvement.